What is up, everyone? It's Fahrenheit 4051, and it's time for another Fire Alarm Friday. Now, you've probably noticed that my channel focuses a lot on older electromechanical fire alarms, like this Simplex 2901-9806, but I also have quite a few electronic horn strobes, and so far I've neglected to really talk about any of them. It's kind of a shame, because these devices are pretty cool. So move on over, Simplex 9806. Here are my electronic horn strobes. Let's get started with the older stuff. This is my Wheelock EHS EL1, which is essentially the electronic version of the 7002T. Like the 7002T, it's a two-wire surface mount horn strobe. It also came in a four-wire version called the EH EL1 WS24, and a flush mount version called the EHS DL1. Now, if you notice, it has the same body style as the Wheelock MT4 and the AES EL1, except this is a single tone model. The horn produces a shrill buzzer tone like the Simplex True Alert, rather than a chirp like the MT series. It's also extremely, extremely loud. Now this horn strobe being single tone and two wire is pretty simple, so I don't really have much else to say about it other than the strobe is not very bright. It was made before the ADA regulations went into effect. Now this here is a Wheelock MT24 LSM. This is part of that MT series that I mentioned earlier. This is an 8-tone horn strobe, and if you notice it almost looks like an Edwards Integrity that went on a diet. Yes, this is one of the older models with a vertical strobe. On newer models like the MT24 MCW, the strobe is horizontal for better coverage. Now, like many older strobes, the LSM could not be synchronized, though there was a version called the SLM which could. Now you may have also noticed that there's no visible screw holes here, instead they're hidden behind these decorative caps. I'll just push that in. Gives it a nice, aesthetically pleasing exterior. Now the MT24 LSM is a four-wire horn strobe, and you actually have to run jumper wires over to the horn in order to get it to sound if you'd like to do two-wire operation as I did here. The eight tones can be selected via this dip switch assembly right here, the last three, the first dip switch controls the volume, Now this is my Viking VF4259-10, but really, it's a Wheelock NS24 MCW that's just been rebranded by Viking. 
Now, this NS series is a similar design to the Simplex True Alert, with this removable cover plate, and then this actual horn strobe that you screw onto the back box. The horn settings can be adjusted by adding or removing the jumper plugs in here. As you can see, um, there's a little chart here that shows you that put in the plug for high and remove it for low volume and put it in for code 3 and remove it for just steady horn. So there should be two. I only have one. Thank goodness because on high volume these things are very loud. So now we'll just pop that cover back on and we'll flip it over to the back. The Candela Select is actually on the back right here and as you can see it is a two wire horn strobe unlike the four wire MT. Also unlike that version of the MT this MCW strobe can be synchronized so it's got selectable Candela and synchronization. This is a modern fire alarm horn strobe for all intents and purposes. Now if you'd like to purchase one from me I do have some that don't have the fire lettering which are available on my eBay store for, I believe, $15.99. Um, there's going to be a link to that in the description. The horn is moderately loud on low volume and uses the same lower pitch tone that the later ZNS and Exceder series uses, as opposed to the higher tone found in the AS, MT, and HS4. All I can say is, wow, these Wheelock signals right here will really bring pain and suffering to your fire alarm system. Like, I don't normally wear hearing protection for these tests, but for these three alarms, I just, I just had to. And now, for the creme de la creme, the Gentex Commander. Yes, these right here are Gentex Commanders. On the left, the Commander 2, model GEC 24-1575WR. And on the right, the Commander 3, model GEC3 24WR. The difference between these two is that the Commander 2 is fixed candela and the Commander 3 is multi candela. I really love the design on these horn strobes and how easy they are to install. All you gotta do is pop off the cover, super slide that horn strobe out of there to take it apart and to put it back together. Just slide it back in, pop on the cover. Now if you want to make these extra secure there is a mounting option where you pop this Gentex logo off and there's a pin that goes down there to prevent you from sliding it unless the pin is removed but I'd imagine most installations don't use that feature. Now this is a newer Commander 2 as evidenced by the cover plate having a little window to show the Candela rating and these indentations here older versions don't have those and this Commander 3 has some extra little refractive elements inside the lens, as well as a different reflector. Seems like Gentex likes to change their reflectors and lenses every few years. Um, you'll notice that on the older ones, like the SHG, too. Now we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at the inside of these units. Um, as you can see, the Commander 2 is fixed candela, so there's no slider here, whereas the Commander 3 is multi-candela, so just all you have to do to switch the candela is to squeeze here and move up or down. I'll set it to 15. You can see the marker is on 15. Now it's back at 110. These horn strobes can be configured both for two wire and four wire operation. Um, when I got this GEC3, it was configured for four wire, so I decided to, for ease of use, switch it to two wire by flipping these first two dip switches right here into the up position for on, same as over here. Now the other four dip switches control the horn. You can see the dip switch on the Commander 3 is quite a bit bigger and easier to use than the one on the Commander 2. Like the Wheelock MT, the Gentex Commander series is multi-tone, but it has only seven tones rather than eight. 
there are actually two dip switch combinations or arrangements that both produce the slow whoop tone when used. Before we go ahead and sound them off, um, I just wanted to point out one little interesting thing. The tag on this actually says GEC324WW, indicating this unit was supposed to be white. So, was it mislabeled as a WR, or is it actually a WW with the wrong color? Leave a comment in the description with your opinion, I guess. I'm not sure if it's just individual variation, I don't think so. Um, this Commander 2 is significantly louder than the Commander 3. Even on high volume, the Commander 3 isn't that loud, but the Commander 2 just absolutely piercing. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found these electronic horn strobes interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like ringing bells so much, don't forget to ring that bell next to the subscribe button. Until next time, folks, this is Fahrenheit4051 signing out.